everyone how have you been welcome again to my youtube channel if you are new here you are very very much welcome my name is damlolo itola i'm a christian and a medical doctor and i feel about faith medicine and lifestyle um thank you for stopping by here thank you for watching my videos it actually makes me happy thank you all right so um this video is more like a continuation of the previous video i uploaded on hiv so if you haven't watched it kindly watch it please and um share it to other people while you're at it all right in this video i'll be talking about the early signs and symptoms of hiv but before i proceed in this video i want to implore you to please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so like this video while you're at it and of course if you have any questions for me kindly leave them in the comment section all right so like i said i'll be talking about early signs and symptoms of hiv but before i go deep into this topic hiv simply means human immunodeficiency virus and like we all know it is gotten through sexual contact however people that have um jumps that actually increase their exposure for instance um people that work in the hospital doctors needle prick accidents nurses um science and uh, laboratory technologies also people that do iv drug abuse anal sex all of these things increases your chances of having hiv so in today's video we'll be talking about the early signs and symptoms of hiv i feel like i've said that other times already all right so just stay with me there are various symptoms and signs of hiv and your symptoms or the person's symptoms will vary based on the stage of HIV that you are on. And it's important to know that even though um, you have, um, it's the same virus, right? People in different stages or even people in the same stages would might actually have different reactions to the virus and may produce different symptoms. And this is because that's the way their body reacts to the virus. Now, it's not enough to just rely on the symptoms of HIV for the diagnosis because in the early phase of the infection, the symptoms could actually be non-specific. So the good thing to do would be that you should go to the hospital or a laboratory to get tested. That way you can be sure whether or not you have the virus. In the first stage of the illness, which is the um, acute infection stage that occurs um after about two to four weeks after being infected um people can start having non-specific uh, symptoms for instance um you could come up with a sore throat um getting tired easily um ulcers in your mouth night sweat maybe weight loss now like i said these symptoms are not specific and not reliable because i mean anybody can have a fever anybody can have sore throat as a result of maybe viral or bacterial infection but that's not a sure sign that you have hiv so now if you've had a non-safe contact with someone that has hiv now you should just take this as your cue to go to the hospital or a laboratory and get tested instead of guessing just get tested and that way you can be sure whether you are positive or you are negative in this early phase some people might actually be asymptomatic meaning that they may not produce any symptom and it is important to know that in this first stage in the early phase of the infection um it is actually the chances of transmitting the virus is actually high because yeah you are highly infectious so please let's reduce the risk of transmitting the virus to other people go and get tested if you think that you've had a non-safe contact with somebody who is hiv positive the second stage is the um clinical latency stage or chronic hiv um stage what happens here is that the virus still multiplies but it does so at a slow rate without treatment and people can actually be um on this phase or in this phase for let's say 10 to 15 years why for some people without treatment then they progress rapidly to it also some people may not even experience any symptom whatsoever in this second stage of hiv now the fact that you are asymptomatic you're not producing any symptom does not mean that you should not use your medication because if you do not use your medication your viral load is going to be high and then you transmit the virus to other people even 
um, let's put aside the risk of transmitting um, the virus to other people. I'm not saying that that's not something to watch out for. I'm not saying that that's something that is less important. But even to yourself, your viral load is going to be high and then it tips you off into the third stage that I'm going to talk about soon. Now, if you take your medications as religiously, if you use it like your life depends on it, you're going to get to a level, like I said in the previous video, where your viral load remains undetectable, that means that you are not able to transmit the virus to other people and everybody is happy, right? Even if you get to have a LD life, you don't tip further into um, it. But if you don't use your medications because you believe that you are asymptomatic, then you are actually shooting yourself because at the end of the day, your viral load is going to get very high and then you're going to get very sick and complications of um, HIV will start showing up, which we do not want. So please use your medications like your life depends on it because it actually does depend on it, okay? The third stage of HIV is AIDS. That's the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. If you are not on medication, if you are not receiving adequate treatment, then the virus has higher chances of weakening your body's immune system and then it can tip you off to it. Um, let me just give you an illustration to better help you to understand. So imagine living in a city that doesn't have maybe military personnel at the border is just open down anybody can come in and go out as they like that's what happens to your body when um you begin to have it so opportunistic infections start to spring up and this is because your body's defense your military personnel of your body that's supposed to fight infection they've already been captured brought down by it so your body is defenseless anything can come in and go out so basically that's what happens in it um the body start having opportunistic infections various um things just start springing up because your body is left defenseless it is unguarded and then any enemy can come in and attack so in opportunistic infections people start having various infections and symptoms so the person can have chronic diarrhea severe body itching they can have something called kaposi sarcoma so it's better seen in people that have light skin so you see some reddish or purplish um blotches on their skin inside their mouth as as a result of um the kaposi virus infection also the um opportunistic infections can affect the brain they can start coming up with memory loss and other um, neurological signs and symptoms also it could lead to rapid weight loss where the person just becomes emaciated it could also affect the eyes and vision and so on because of effective treatment most people with hiv in advanced country do not progress into it now this could actually be a challenge for people in developing or underdeveloped countries especially when you don't have free access to medication and then you are poor you don't have money to procure your medications this could be a challenge however if you have free access to medication please make sure you use it routinely religiously like i said your life depends on it and then to help you from um, progressing and tipping off into it use your medications religiously and let's suppress the viral load all right so this brings us to the end of this video. I'm quite sure that you've learned something new. So please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with your friends and family. And of course, I'd like to hear from you in the comment section. Until next time, please stay safe and remain blessed. And remember to spread love and not the virus.